Okay, welcome back to the bench. I got a couple things I'm going to do. I'm going to put out tonight as a real quick video. Um, sometimes my real quick videos are seven, eight minutes long, so it's not a short. Uh, but there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. One is I have a box. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm excited about what what's been what came in. Um, I want to share it with you guys. And the other thing is, it kind of sounds crazy, but I'm going to talk a little bit about an experience I had this weekend in Cape May, New Jersey. Um, it's all about monarch butterflies uh, and, and really interesting. But let me get into it. Um, we'll do the unboxing and then I'm going to do the, in case nobody wants to watch the monarch butterfly, uh, but it's all about tracking monarch butterflies with radio transmitters. I'm a radio guy. If you're a radio guy, you got to be thinking to yourself, this guy is nuts. How are they putting radio transmitters on monarch butterflies? For those of you that don't know, it, it, monarch butterflies migrate. Picture this. From all over the United States, they fly to Mexico. Uh, it's more specific place in Mexico. I'm not going to go into that. I don't have all the details, but think about it. A butterfly. It flies all the way back to Mexico to winter. Think about that. Thousands of miles. So that's one of the things I want to, I want to show you and, and talk about. Because I, I just found it very interesting. Okay, so some of them, some of them only migrate um, to Southern California. Others, the rest of them all migrate down into Mexico. And I just found that very interesting from a radio perspective. A radio transmitter attached to a. Excuse me. Got to sneeze. Radio transmitter attached to a butterfly. Um, pretty cool. Well, let's get into it and I'll show you. Okay, I'm doing a unboxing video. I'm pretty excited about getting this. I don't do unboxing videos, uh, but this time I am a little excited about it. Uh, this box was sent to me by uh, one of my viewers, Rob, from Florida. I want to thank him on air about this. And uh, let's get into this so we can see what it is. He packs things very well. He, he sells stuff on eBay, so. Kind of helped me out here with this. Um, again, like I said, I don't want to damage anything opening it up. And I took the packing label off because... I just didn't want that on air. Okay. Rob from Florida. My God, look how nice this was packed. Got lots of bubble wrap for when I ship stuff. Thanks, Rob. I'll be able to reuse this. And let's get this up. Let's get this box out of here. Get this guys might have an idea of what this is. Unwrap this nicely. Rob did a great job of packing this. I'll tell you, I bought stuff on eBay. Uh, it's amazing it got to me without getting broken. Did a nice job with the packing. Look at this. This is another... <laughs> this is another... Heathkit VTVM model V7A. Thanks, Rob. Actually, I thought you were just going to send me the meter, <laughs> but I love it. Thank you very much. Um, I will be changing the plastic cover using using the one from, from mine onto here, but Rob tested the meter. You can see it's got a little static electricity on it. Uh, Rob tested the meter for me before he sent it up. Meter is working fine. Um, so this is, uh, this meter is going to be taken out of here and put into, 
uh, my project. So this will get me going again with the Heathcliff VTVM um, video. Let me lower this down a little bit here. Sorry if I'm making you nauseous here. But that's it. Rob, again, Rob from Florida, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to get this up hopefully uh, this weekend. I'll get all of this up. And my package still hasn't come from DigiKey, so the additional parts I'm waiting for, although... The zero adjust, again, I'm going to test this one. If this is a good 10K pot, then I will be using this one rather than the one I ordered from DigiKey because it's probably a better quality to begin with than this Chinese junk that's coming in um, that we're buying now. Very good. Thank you, and stand by. Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about this project Monarch. Um, they've, been, they've been tagging Monarch butterflies for decades using little stick-on, um, I don't know, like little stick-on tags with numbers and stuff on them that identified them and where they were released from. That's pretty cool when you think about it, because like I said before, um, Monarch butterflies migrate. I didn't know that. And my wife happened to see this thing, was talking to me about it, and I said, wait, wait a minute, they're going to put a radio transmitter on the back of a butterfly. Of oh, this I have to see. I'm a radio guy. If you're a radio guy and you don't think that this is cool, um, I don't know what will. Uh, okay, so this is... We were at the, you can see it up here, it's the Cape May Point uh, Science Center, and they've got a project, uh, Project Monarch. They're, they're asking for donations. I mean, there's still more tagging going on with stick-on tags. This, this radio transmitter tagging started last year, uh, a company... Oh, my God, I feel bad. I don't remember the name of the company. Uh, but they developed in, in concert with, with the uh, science people out of, out of uh, Cape May Point Science Center uh, a tracking device so they can be attached to the back of the butterflies. Now... Again, it sounds like a lot, $200 or more, and you can have a butterfly named after you. One of the things they're doing is rather than just giving the butterflies a generic name, um, they're, they're, or, or a, a serial number uh, that people have to look up, they're actually giving them names. Uh, right now, I believe this, this is only being done out of Cape May. I was told that because this is something brand new, it's not under mass production yet, uh, these tags cost about $175 a pop uh, per butterfly, you could say, to track it. So what you're doing is you're sponsoring one butterfly to be tracked, basically. Uh, maybe two. You get a, They probably get a discount on them. But um, this, this is amazing. So, so what I'm going to show you and, and I don't know where they go down in down in Mexico. I don't remember where it was. Someplace in the Yucatan, up in the mountains, in these dense forests or whatever it is. Uh, he explained it all. Uh, all the monarch butterflies, or the majority of them from the U.S., all migrate to this spot. There's There's also some that go to Southern California, okay? But the majority of them go down to, down to Mexico. Kind of like uh, we go to Cancun <laughs> for, the, for the winter. Uh, they go down and hibernate uh, over the winter uh, before they start their migration back north again.
uh, and obviously it's not the same butterfly down and back, but um, it's it's a series of generations that that do this back and forth. So what I'm going to show you is uh, where are we here? Okay. So right here, you can see, here's the scissors and a pair of tweezers. Here is the tracking device. I'll scroll in so you can get a better look at it. This is it. This is about the size of a, uh, a grain of rice. On the top, I'll move it over a little bit. On the top is a solar panel. Okay, no batteries. This is a solar panel that the, the um, that powers the Bluetooth transmitter underneath it. Is that cool or what? This is the antenna. This big long black tail is the antenna. I, I just find that so amazing. And let me bring it to the next picture if I can. Okay, let me make it bigger here, see, yeah. where are we here? Okay, here he is, he's actually gluing, gluing it on. You're saying, oh my God, they're gluing this on. Well, believe it or not, what they used, they had to come up with a glue that was non-toxic, because they didn't want these butterflies dying of, of a toxicity or causing a problem, they're using eyelash glue. <laughs> eyelash glue. Can you imagine that? It's non-toxic. Women use it all the time. They, they put the glue. This is what you see here. This is the top side of the butterfly. So they put a little bit of glue on the butterfly they put a little bit of glue on the electronics side of that transmitter. Okay. Not on this side. They put it on the other side. So that when they adhere to it, the solar panel is obviously out there in the sun. As long as they have sun, they can be tracked. It transmits. At night when they roost, obviously it gets dark the wings fold up, there's no transmission. And let me jump to, yeah, there's, there's that again. I'm going to show you, that's not what I wanted. There it is. Okay. So then what they did was, they, somebody created, this, this program is free, it's called Project Monarch. Okay, you can download it to your phone. It's it's a, it's for Max or or um, that other crazy company that's out there that everybody drools over. Uh, Android. I, I'm an Android guy. Anyway, you can track. They tag these butterflies, and then they can track them through electronics. Now the app on the phone is only going to allow you to track it, uh, they said, for 100 meters, because it's kind of line of sight, Bluetooth, you know how that works. Um, so it's 100 meters. But there are stronger receivers that can go, I believe, over 500 meters. And then there are radio towers that receivers are being put on that can track even further. Again, I think this is very cool from, from a radio standpoint. Um, I'm a radio guy. Whoever thought they would be able to make a transmitter? Well, look at it like this. They, they put this stuff in your ears, too. Um, attach it to a, a butterfly. Very cool. You can download the app. Uh, it's called Project Monarch. And... You can, I can't do it because I'm filming with my phone, so I can't show you my phone. This is a screenshot off of that. 
So again, this was in Cape May, New Jersey. This is the only place that, that I know of from what he was saying that is using these electronic transmitters for the monarchs. Um, but picture this, guys. These monarchs leave, they don't fly over the ocean. So they have to fly along the coast, maybe go across the Delaware River someplace, land on the other side, and then follow that all the way down into Mexico, all along the coast, down into Mexico. They tracked one. Um, in three days, it went 500 miles. Is that amazing or what? A butterfly. Very cool. I just thought I'd bring this to you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, that's okay too, uh, but it's educational. Again, thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in. And again, click like, subscribe if you like this, and make comments. Send me some comments. I answer or at least respond in some way to everybody's comments. <laughs> and I've had some buttes, uh, but I do respond. Thanks a lot. Take care and hope to see you on the next video.